So after last week's news of the SA figure arts, the amazing Spider-Man cancelling the head sculpts, Bandai Tomorrow Nations have made a major reveal at their 15th gallery anniversary store in Tokyo by showing off the No Way Home display, and this time with the first villain, the Green Goblin. So this is fantastic news for Spider-Man figure collectors after last week's setback, as this of course is the exclusive look of the Goblin from the No Way Home movie. So I think this is the perfect reveal since after the Spider-Mans, most people will be anticipating whether Tomorrow Nations would be producing the villains from the multiverse. To me, this prototype looks to really stand out from the display. The bright shiny green colors blended in with the purple. It certainly is paying homage to the comic suit version. And what I like about the SA figure arts is they look to be using die cast, which is always gonna give this an extra and more premium feel to the figure. It doesn't look like they'll be using any soft materials which they could have done with the hood or the pouches but overall I think I like this look and it's going to be an excellent display next to the Spider-Mans. So what are your thoughts on this reveal of the Green Goblin? Did you prefer if they did his original suit which also featured in the movie or are you happy with this one? So after Green Goblin I also expect them to reveal a Doctor Octopus and Electro and of course these could be made later in the future and hopefully the likes of Lizard and Sandman to really complete the line. So with this news, it does confirm my collection of the SH figure arts for the No Way Home line. At first, if Hasbro did the villains first, I would have maybe jumped onto their line, but since this is a major announcement, I will stay tuned for more characters from this line. So in terms of the other Spider-Man No Way Home SH figure arts news, there's a photo floating around of the unmasked friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, so the Tobey Maguire version, and the head sculpt does seem to be very disappointing, and it's quite different to what we saw in the promo pics. Of course, in the final product, in hand remains to be seen, but this is what we get so far. I also noticed the Martian Nations have made some big announcements regarding their other lines they are popular for. So for Dragon Ball, we'll be getting another Freezer, this time the third form. So it looks like they'll be following the Cell and Boo releases, where they'll give us looks of all forms. And for their latest movie, Dragon Ball Super Hero, a Beast Gohan has been revealed, and this looks to be very menacing and certainly a must if you collected this line or if you're a fan of the movie. We we'll also know there will be a Piccolo, I'm not sure on the official name yet, but the orange version, so from the same movie, and both of course are very important for this line. I also noticed there are some reveals for Star Wars, one of Tomorrow Nations' biggest selling points has been this line, so a Obi-Wan Kenobi from the latest series, and since Star Wars is not easy to find anymore, it's good that we do have some new reveals and I believe there are some re-releases coming soon as well. So that's just my quick thoughts on the Green Goblin reveal from the Spider-Man No Way Home line for SA Figure Arts. Of course, I will discuss more once the official announcement is made. Also check out my views on the cancelled The Amazing Spider-Man and stay tuned for more SA Figure Arts news, reviews and collections. Thanks for watching and bye for now.